YouTube, what is good? Eric here bringing you a brand new video to the channel, and today we're talking photography. Photography behind the scenes, a photo vlog, if you will, of Linden, Texas, my hometown. This is something I'm gonna start doing once a month and doing a different town. Um, not just in Texas, but just a different town each time. So let's jump into the video. All right, guys, welcome to the YouTube video. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. We're gonna start off by walking down here and we're gonna see this cafe sign here in Linden. Um, hometown cooking, good cafe. This is the photo I wound up with. I was pretty happy with it. Just kind of like a, a vintage vibe. So here I continue down the street and I was looking at possibly getting something with the sun, but I just wasn't really feeling it. Saw the water tower and decided maybe later. But then I saw this window with this empty building and I was like, man, this would be super cool if I had a subject inside of the window. But I didn't have that at the time. So I thought like, you know, how can I get the contrast of the blue and the orange here, the orange and the teals? So I decided to take the photo and put the window frame in focus and leave the background out of focus. And this is what I've wound up with, with a, n a nice little edit. Desaturate the blues a little bit. Desaturate the whole photo really to give me that look that I was looking for. Continuing on down the street, I saw these cars and I've always liked photography of vehicles in the middle of towns. So I decided to grab this photo here. Um, I was decently happy with it. I like the contrast of the yellow and the blue and the white right there together. I continued walking down, was hoping to grab something else, but nothing really worked out that I was happy with. So I decided to walk across the street here to our fire station here in town and saw this red door with the, the brick and the white and even the little bit of the, the green light. I didn't really like how the light was green. So when I was editing it, I kind of pulled the green out of it and come up with this shot here. It kind of gives like the same vibe that I go for in my photography. So we continue on down the street, didn't really see anything. It was like, let's keep walking around the corner. So I went around the corner and I found an idea that I had in my head. I was like, well, let's grab this old gas station that's right over here on the corner and let's take a photo of it. And so I stand right here on the corner of the sidewalk and I wait for cars to go by, make sure there's nothing coming, let this truck go by. And then I grab the photo that you're about to see here I am I'm happy with it, but I feel like it could have been better. Um, it's just the sky's a little too blown out for me, even though there's not much in like clouds in the sky on that portion of the video. Um, it still would have been better had I had the sky a little bit better exposed. So I crossed the street and I remember there's this mural on the back side of this gas station that most of the murals in town are done by an artist that was local, grew up local, lived local. Um, that is no longer with us, but he painted this, this painting, um, here that's called basically the gateway to the lakes. It's the photo I came up with. We're right in the middle of Caddo Lake, Lake of the Pines and Lake Wright Patman. So any lake you want to go to, we're within 45 minutes of it, of those three lakes. So I thought that was super cool, especially since I got to do, um, some photography and videography on Caddo this past week. Um, with Robert Sislow Jr. If you haven't seen that video, I will uh, place it in the YouTube card above so you can go check it out as well. So we continue on down to the square here and Linden has, I do believe, still the oldest working courthouse in the state of Texas. So I wanted to capture it and I didn't like this view at first, but then I took the photo and I was like, well, I kind of like it. The sun's coming off of the right side of it and lighting it up and giving it a little bit more of a dynamic than it just being, you know, like a straight on shot that the sun wouldn't really be a factor in it. So I decided to go this route. It turned out pretty well. So here we are walking down the sidewalk of the square here in town and something about this building, the beige building with the red door popped out to me and I knew I had to get a shot of it. Um, I love neutral tone buildings with a brighter colored door. So I looked at grabbing the shot across the street and I noticed that it was just, I was going to have to zoom in too far and crop in too far on the final photo. So I decided to walk across the street and see if I could grab the shot that I was looking for from up close and I was able to, and this is what I came up with. Um, and I really, really enjoyed it. I think actually I snapped this one in the middle of the street. So it kind of gave me the perfect, um, the perfect frame that I was looking for without having to do too much cropping on it. 
And then here for this last photo, I decided to walk down and, and Curtis, the barber here in town, very great guy. That's where I got my haircut growing up. And I was like, man, this barbershop's super cool. The sun's kind of peeking over the trees as it sets. So I wanted to grab um, a picture of this barbershop sign that it looks like it's been painted on there for a while. So it's kind of like a, a vintage look like it's been there for a little bit. So I wanted to grab that and just try to capture it as well that capture as much of this barbershop and show that it's an older barbershop but it's still working and this is what i came out with with the reflection of the water tower this is probably my favorite photo from the downtown photo experience here in london so with that being said y'all that's the end of the video if you would give it a like comment down below what your favorite part was hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell that way you never miss a video of mine and click on the video that is on screen right now and give it a watch. And that's it for this video, YouTube. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.